Hi everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm going to go a little further into Reactor in 3ds Max and I'm going to show you how to make water. So, uh, to demonstrate, we have this little scene here. We have a tub which is going to be filled with water and we have six objects right here that are going to fall in and uh, they're actually going to have different buoyancies the cube, the cone, and the tube right here they're going to sink to the bottom, uh, hopefully uh, and the tube, the sphere, and the teapot will remain buoyant and be on top of the water okay, so uh, first off we want to make sure that everything is a rigid body so go ahead and make a rigid body collection move that out and I've already set the mass of um, the tube and uh, other objects to uh, the appropriate amount. And also you want to make sure that the tube, the tub, uh, the torus here, and the teapot, you want to make sure that they are a concave mesh, as I've explained in my previous tutorial. Alright, so now for the actual water. You want to go up here uh, to your, your reactor toolbar, make sure that it's on. Uh, and go to the top view and go ahead and make water. Now you want to make sure that auto grid is turned on and place your water uh, a bit outside of the cavity inside the tub so this way there's no space in between the water and the walls. Okay, and we'll move this down. There we go. That looks good. Okay, so now um, you can add some more modifications to the water if you select the water and go to modify. You can change things like uh, the ripple, we'll set that to a minimum of 20, uh, should be good, and yeah, there's actually quite a bit that you can do with it. It won't do things like splash, however, it'll just remain there, it's actually not affected by the uh, objects that go into it, you have to use uh, some different tools for that, but uh, for basic flotation purposes and stuff, it works. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and preview what this looks like. Alright, in the reactor previewer, you'll see the water show up as this reflective surface. Um, be warned, however, this will show up in once you render the video or whatever you're making, so you'll have to make a plane over it um, on top of the water that uh, looks like water. Okay, so let's press P and watch how it works. Alright, well, you see that these don't actually sink all the way to the bottom, but they are further in the water than these other objects and uh, we can go ahead and create this animation so we can see it a bit more in detail and there we go, it doesn't take long at all and now these guys drop in and there we go you can actually, if you look closely, you might not be able to see it but uh, you can see the waving of the water um, it's not too drastic right now but uh, that simulates some waves there that keeps the objects bouncing as you can see so um, yeah that's the basics of water as I mentioned uh, this won't show up when you render let's demonstrate that uh, see there's nothing there um, you'll have to create a plane or whatever do whatever you need to so but yeah that's pretty much it thank you this has been Kremlin for the Techies check out th3techies.com